Hi there, I'm Mike Wilson from the Design and Development Department at Nash Tackle. Come down to a local reservoir today in Hadley to try out the new Zig Floats, which we've been developing over the last sort of 12-13 months. It's a bit windy, managed to get two rods out and managed to have a take within sort of half an hour. An absolute cracking common caught an adjustable Zig. There he is, with a little bug, just fish four foot off the adjustable Zig. I'm going to slip her back and we'll show you how we caught her. Firstly, take the end of your main line. Supplied in the Zig Float pack comes with a metal ring, a Zig Float, and a different coloured band. Basically, take your ring out of your pack. There's a little clip. Just clip your lead on. End of your main line goes through that ring. Take your Zig Float. I've chosen today to go for the. I'll put the black band on because the water I'm fishing is really, really clear. Take your main line. Thread it through the bottom of the float. coming up through the top. I then personally, I prefer to use a ring swivel to go into the end of the zig float. Just basically tie that on with just a standard grin and up. Cut the tag end. Go back to the float and pull the swivel inside the top of the float. You'll feel it, it goes in there nice and firm. And tie your zig onto the ring, which I've done earlier. In this instance, I've gone for a black louse, mainly because the water I'm fishing is really, really clear. I know black does quite well in this venue, I've done quite well on it myself in the past on black foam, so the black louse is just a perfect resemblance to that. I've used a little bit of um, silicon tubing just to kick the line out of the back of the hook so it sits better in the water. I've gone for a four foot hook link off the, off the lead, so obviously as I cast out the hook bait, it will be sitting four foot above that. Let's just show you the standard setup. So when you're ready for the cast, the lead will be hanging parallel next to the float, tangle free, guaranteed a bite in the right conditions when using zig rigs. Just before I cast out, another little wedge that I feel can get you a quick bite is the new Nash Bug Juice. Today I'm using the Nectar one, comes in four different flavours. Basically, just dangle your zig bug, take your juice. Once you've done that, I'd just like to add a couple of nuggets of PVA foam either side of the bug. Take one, lick it, pull the hook into the foam, take another one, lick the back of that, and stick the two together. Simple and prevents tangles. So I cast the spot, threw the lead down, so the flight's touching lead, then I slowly let the line pay off, so you see the float rise on the surface. I then tighten up the line, so everything's tight. I then know that from the spigot of my rod to my reel seat, it's the same length as my zig above the adjustable zig float. So if I pull that amount of line back, I know my zig bug is just touching the surface. I'm fishing a foot under the surface today. As I've said, from my spigot of my rod to my reel seat is four foot. But I then pull an extra foot back, which is five foot, so I now know that I'm exactly a foot under the surface. Right, I've got both my zig rods out now, and another little wedge that I feel is going to get me a quick bite before the end of the day is a new awesome gyro bug mix. So 
So you've got bits coming up, bits coming down. It's designed just to get them fish competing in the upper layers of the water amongst your zig bug and hopefully you're gonna get me another quick bite. Despite the wind and the conditions, it wasn't really ideal for zigs, but just before the end of the session, I managed to bag a little near leather carp, maybe pushing a double, but it made a good session worthwhile.